What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Why Day MMA where I give you my thoughts but more importantly ask for you guys' thoughts as we delve into the MMA community. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. We all deserve to be doing well especially in this state of combat sports and the MMA community. We have big things coming and UFC 296 is right around the corner however we are going to be talking about a different topic today. This is for my Israel Adesanya fans or my Alex Pereira fans. We're going to be talking about Israel Adesanya and what is coming up next for him. We're going to delve into his mindset. We're going to talk about what he's been through so far and much more like what he's been developing moving forward into his career. So with that being said, if you want to support the content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And if you want more videos like this to pop up on your feed, then you're more than welcome to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when more videos like this one pop up in the future. However, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So Israel Adesanya comes into the UFC taking the world by storm. Nobody's seen a striker like him yet. And he goes 5-0 in his first five fights. Ends up defeating Anderson Silva for the latest fight before his title fight against Calvin Gaslam beats Calvin Gaslam, goes on to unify the belts with Robert Whitaker, and then ends up defending the belt several times against the rest of the middleweight division. The middleweight division is pretty much cleared out by this point until Israel Asanya then, I guess, calls for his doom in a way. He calls out the only man who's ever knocked him out. He calls out the most dangerous striker on the planet in kickboxing, rescues him from a bar, so to speak. And Alex Pereira starts making his run into MMA. And Alex Pereira goes 2-0 in MMA after knocking out Sean Strickland. And then Alex Pereira gets his title shot, right? So then we have this back-to-back -back crazy emotional roller coaster, not even spread out six months apart, where Israel Adesanya is defending his belt, loses his belt, and then reclaims his belt against Alex Pereira in maybe the most emotional and most ecstatic fashion right i mean if you go back and look at the reaction videos of that knockout went over alex Pereira, i mean everyone was emotionally invested into that fight whether they were hated izzy or whether they loved izzy or loved alex Pereira or hated alex Pereira, everyone was invested in that fight right well short turnaround from that Israel Adesanya takes on Sean Strickland in which was supposed to be Drikas Duplessis but Sean Strickland accepts on what like three four weeks notice not a very long camp not a very long turnaround for Israel Adesanya it's a very quick turnaround right after what we just spoke about that emotional roller coaster now keep in mind this is not me making an excuse for Israel Adesanya and his performance this is more me talking about what actually might have happened and what might have been going on now we know Israel Adesanya is the most active champion in the UFC or was however you can't keep that activity forever sometimes you need a break and weeks after that fight with Sean Strickland after getting dropped and dominated for five rounds he came out with his first thoughts and he said that he needs time off that he didn't feel like himself uh, that we're probably not going to see him again until 2027 now do I think this is true what are my thoughts on this well here you go I don't think that it's going to take until 2027 to see Israel Adesanya again now of course I'm not in his corner I'm not in his camp I don't know what's really going on however assuming off of the fact that Israel Adesanya two weeks before the Sean Strickland fight was charged with a DUI probably wasn't taking that fight seriously or maybe overlooked Sean Strickland a bit yeah I think he needed time off I think that was the right assessment but I don't think three years off is gonna make the change that he's wanting right now there's a couple of reasons that fighters take time off right one they're getting burnt out and tired of the sport uh, whether it's the technical side of the sport and constantly trying to get better and improve and always being in the gym and always dealing with haters comments and stuff like that or the emotional side of the sport like how Israel Adesanya was dealing with with the whole Alex Pereira trilogy or any fight with Colby Covington or anything like that right or the third reason would be injuries because we all know those happen in combat sports now while Israel Adesanya did not look like himself in that Sean Strickland fight I think there was a little bit more to that loss and I think we need to give Sean Strickland a little bit more credit yes Israel didn't look the same but I feel like that more had to do with the fact that Sean Strickland made him look that way and the reason Sean Strickland was able to make him look that way is because 
Israel Adesanya has always suffered in short boxing range or when his opponent isn't telegraphing anything or when he can't get reads with his feints, right? Israel Adesanya relies on those feints and those reads to go and hit the cleanest strikes possible so that his kicks don't get checked, so that his punches land clean and not wasting energy on the guard and things like that. He's more of a sniper, right? And he can do this from both stances and he has his setups that he likes to use and things like that. but. He's been stuck in his ways a little bit over the years. Over the past two years, we haven't seen much development in his striking, probably because he's been working on his grappling so much, right? But then he runs into this barroom fighter, Philly Shell, using Sean Strickland, who comes forward not telegraphing anything with good defense using like kung fu block frames and stuff like that and it throws him off and that's not the only thing that threw him off but also his coach eric nixick which i am thinking about making a video over let me know guys in the comments down below if you guys want me to make an in-depth video on why eric nixick is such a good coach and maybe the top three coaches in mma my list for that anyways let me know in the comments down below and i'll get started on making that right away hey listen up Okay. Come on. All right, let's go. We got two rounds of this. I don't want to lose some fucking boring ass decision here. Hey, we didn't come all this way to lose a fucking yes. point fest. Get on this motherfucker Stay and let's go. Fight. Now we're back to Israel Adesanya. I feel like all those things combined is what kind of set Izzy off, is what didn't let him get his reads, is what made him a little bit gun shy going into that fight. And not to mention he did get dropped and that can change the fight in and of itself. Now, getting to the point, Israel's been taking some time off. He said 2027 is looking like the return. I don't think that helps. I think that anywhere from half a year to a year and a half layoff is perfectly fine for Israel Adesanya. I do think that we can see him in 2024. And what makes me think that even more is because Israel Adesanya is getting better. You remember that one thing that we said that Israel Adesanya really never developed in his striking the short boxing range and forward pressure his rap sign is not known for his forward pressure people say he runs or he uses his footwork or whatever he uses his reach yes and he's never really developed that forward pressure but it has now been seen and Israel Adesanya posted on his Instagram that he has been training boxing in Mexico now I think that's the biggest thing about this whole offseason is getting better not just getting away from the media of the game and we see that he's been posting less on his YouTube channel and getting away from the haters and the comments and stuff like that. Not just that, but while you're doing that, not wasting time, not wasting the last parts of your career bullshitting or, or getting drunk and stuff like that, which he has every right to party and stuff like that. But in the gym, on the grind zone, getting better. Now, why it's so important that he's training boxing and training boxing more specifically in Mexico is the Mexican style itself. What do we know from Mexican style of boxing? Well, they come forward, uh, they're tough as hell, and they hit hard. That's everything that Israel Adesanya is missing from his game moving forward. Now, the power, the accuracy, that's all there. But the the grit, the willing to take a punch, to, to give one while coming forward, the only time I ever really saw that was in the Kelvin Gastelum fight, and it's because it was do or die, he dies or I die type vibe. Now, I think this is amazing to see as an Israel Adesanya fan and as a fan of the sport to see one of the best strikers in MMA still finding a way to get better. And I don't think a lot of people notice, but it's also good for fighters to get out of their comfort zone, out of the comfort of their own gym. Even if he brings a couple coaches with him to get a new look, a new perspective, something to bring back to the gym and for your own team to help you refine and bring into your own style and into your own game. So I think that this is all really great news that we're hearing from Israel Adesanya. I think this is a great move and I think that it won't take him until 2027 to come back. I think we can see him in 2024, potentially against the winner of Drigas Duplessis and Sean Strickland, or maybe even getting a tune-up fight before he comes back. But I think that he'll fight for the title immediately. I don't think there's any tune-up fights for Israel Adesanya. He's been so active and he's been fighting his whole career. I don't think he'll need one. But what do you guys think? Do y'all think Israel Adesanya is going to show up better? Or do you think that he's nearing the end of his prime and he is on his way out? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Love him or hate him. This video was about Israel Adesanya. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and your comments down below. And be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.